the Howard Stern Channels present the show that dares to enter the chaotic brain of the mad genius known as Sour Shoes. Can you see the real me? This is Embedded. I'm Embedded with John Lieberman. Welcome to Embedded with Sour Shoes, the series where we chronicle the remarkable life of the 41-year-old prankster, genius impressionist, and frequent caller to the Howard Stern Show, Sour Shoes. Michael Del Campo is often relaxed and easy to talk to, but keeping him on topic when he's in Sour Shoes mode is next to impossible. Often, he will just break out into random impressions mid-conversation. Wendy, are you, are you? did you eat your own poo this morning? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to blow my mind up, bitch. I want the power back now. Wendy, did you, what did you have today? Wendy's, Friendly's, McDonald's, and Burger King? <laughs> Sour's ability to reproduce anyone's voice almost instantly had me wondering what his process was for developing new impressions. His answer was far more analytical than I would have guessed, as he often does thousands of instantaneous calculations before landing on the right combination. If you were meeting me for the first time, Mm-hmm. And I was talking to you, you heard my voice for the first time. What's your mental process? Well, I know you enunciate uh, mental process. We're going to get to that. Er- Eric, Eric, because you're a mid Atlantic. So, Eric, your E's are Eric. Uh, go, you're, you stretch out your O's. Go, go, because you're a mid Atlantic. Eric, I, Eric. Oh, that's up, Josh. I have to ask, Eric, I have to ask you, what are you going to feed that dog? I'm going to feed him uh, uh, Taco Bell. Uh, just some buck of some fucking fucking fried chicken like I think my dog said. Eric, that's not what you give a dog. As Sour continued to wow me with impression after impression, I was surprised to learn that Baba Booey isn't the only stern show Gary Sour can replicate perfectly. Gary the Conqueror. And Gary is like a little bit like Yosemite Sam. And a combination of, because he's up here a lot, uh, Bob Seger when he when he strains. Sand and arrow straight like a wreck. So you have that in mind when you're trying to do him and Mr. Edwards from Little House on the Prairie. And while it seems like Sour's savant-like ability enables him to copy literally anyone's voice, there are a few notable exceptions. Is there a voice that you haven't been able to do? To, to crack that you've really wanted to do? Um, yeah, probably Howard or Fred, and maybe Robin. I would probably, I wish I could get their, their vocals down perfectly. And why do you think those three you can't do? Because Howard is, um, <clears throat> he's, he can, he's got a very different kind of range. He's got a low voice at times, but he can get exci- excited, but he can project by getting excited. There's no crack. And there's this, hot, there's this deepness to his voice. Uh, but I do have to take a break. See, mine cracks a little where his doesn't. And then he can get excited, and it sounds more like Alan Alda a little, but not so much anymore. He's deeper than he used to be. Uh, double A, you're on the air. Uh, Fred, are we good? We need to take a break? Uh, we're good. We probably should take one, do one live. We're, that kind of sounds like Dan Aykroyd when I do Fred. <laughs> While it's not surprising that the king of all media's legendary voice is tough to copy, what was surprising was Sauer's favorite impression to do, because it's one that he almost never does on air. Robin Ophelia Quivers. Oh, hey, it's Robin, John. Would you go to Canada? And that's what's happening. (laughs) A1, Howard. Well, the next time we'll try to do it more. Uh, (laughs) Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. We were talking about yesterday about that policing in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Now that we've gotten a better look at the full range of Sauer's talent, I wanted to dig deeper into the source of it. Surely he is dedicated to the art of impressions, but is there more to it than that? His mother, Teresa, certainly thinks so. Everybody knows how talented he is. I think one question that the listeners always have, and we asked him was, how did he become so talented? Is it simply... It's a gift from God. That's what it is. That's what I attribute. Any gift, any talent that we have. 
While it has often been speculated that Sauer's frequent baby voice is representative of some kind of stunted growth, Sauer's mom wants to make it clear that voice is just part of the Sauer show and doesn't give any more insight into his psyche than his Gary or Artie impressions do. Well, number one, he doesn't baby talk to us. I heard that on the radio. He does not, unless I ask for it. I, that's my favorite voice. And he knows I love babies. I love, love babies. So, no, he doesn't talk baby talk. He, he's very normal. <laughs> On the next episode of Embedded, will there ever be a Mrs. Sour Shoes? We probe into his love life, his biggest passions in life, and take a look at what the future holds for our favorite...